truck's been a little cold starting lately. I think the carburetor needs a little adjusting. I think the plan for today is to take a corner of um, that barn and we'll clean it out. My neighbor still has a lot of his stuff in that barn. I need to get some of my stuff moved over there. So we're gonna clean out a corner of his barn and then we're gonna take at least one load, if not more, of some of my tools and just miscellaneous stuff and get it over into that barn. So the plan is to head over there and, and get that done right now. I have to admit, it's a little strange having two driveways now. So as you can see, my neighbor's got a fair amount of stuff still in here. Um, a lot of it's just odds and ends. He's already moved a lot of his tools and a lot of his large equipment. He had excavators, skid steers. Um, he's got a trencher over there, all sorts of stuff in here. So he's kind of in the middle of moving all this ac actually today. And then over the next uh, month or so, he's going to have an auction for all the just miscellaneous items that he's collected over the years from being a contractor. So today, what we're planning on doing is taking this corner of the barn, I've already moved some of it out, uh, but clearing it all out, probably leaving that lumber um, that's going to get sold in the auction, and probably cleaning all the way over to the middle part of the barn over here. That way I can use this whole area uh, for tools, staging area, and then over the next uh, couple months, once he clears this, it's going to be completely clean. All of this is going to be gone. Once it's all gone, then I can start staging tools, welders. Um, I purchased a welder from him. We're basically setting all this up for what we're going to be doing with um, welding all of our portable panel panels uh, and just getting everything ready for the upcoming farm. So it's a, it's a work in progress, as you can see but this will morph into our shop over time. Let's uh, get to work and get some of this cleaned up and we'll be uh, taking truckloads of material over here throughout the day. I am so excited if you can't tell. This is a dream come true to be able to have just a awesome barn and a structure to be able to have uh, outside the elements that we can work on stuff and have stuff stored. So super excited. If you can see over here, that is Oli his uh mutt she's a pretty good dog she's uh really really friendly so we will uh get to this and see if we can uh knock this out today Well, fortunately, it's cold out in wintertime, but this is what you get for living in the Midwest. Those, these are all brown recluses. They leave a pretty nasty bite if you get bitten by them. Fortunately, all of those are dead. It's pretty cold out. The coat came off. It's getting too warm for that.
All right, so that's not bad there. Um, in between these posts is 10 foot wide. So that's basically a 30 by, I think the distance from there to the garage door is somewhere around 15 feet. So about 30 by 15 that we've cleared out. Uh, the rest of the barn is still full, but I'm able to now take and move in some of our stuff in here, get it out from underneath the weather. Everything else you see in here is still his. Uh, aside from that roll of wire, but this is all cleared out. So let's go ahead and go get a load of stuff and put it in here. So the truck is loaded down with a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that we're going to bring over to the barn. Some of this I'm going to need to go through and we don't need any more, but some of it is basically just parts and pieces to upcoming projects. So we'll, uh, we'll keep most of it for now and then we'll go through it later. Well, we got a few things in here. I think we're gonna call it a day for this for now. Let's go ahead and head over to the Buffalo and check on them and see how they're doing. Well, I think the hay that we bought this year has been serving them well. They um, have been eating quite a bit of it and their body condition seems to be in good shape. Their coat is really thick and they just seem like they're really healthy. I've got one uh, girl, uh, White Feather, her foot issue that she had last spring kind of came back. Um, not sure what's going on with it. She's fine. Um, she just needs to probably see a vet whenever we have them worked next. Um, she's always just had some sort of issue with her foot and I don't know why. But next time they are worked, we'll have the vet look at her. But other than that, everybody looks really good. Even Black Feather right here, her eye is uh, not as glazed as it was. So can't tell if she can see out of that side or not, but she seems to be doing a lot better too. Somebody left a comment not too long ago and they were asking what kind of monthly income this provides. And someone responded and said that uh, it's more of an annual income. It's not really once a month, it's once a year when you sell those calves. And they responded and said, so it's more of just an expensive hobby than right. And I 
was thinking about that. No, not in any way. It's not an expensive hobby. It is actually a business. But thinking through that, it made me realize that a lot of people don't understand the world of agriculture. They don't understand that you have to go all year long without an income and you're looking for that one sale of that grain or those that sale of those animals to be able to sustain you throughout the entire year. It's a lot different than just going and getting a job and expecting a once a week or once every two weeks paycheck. You really have to budget your money a lot more and you really have to know where every dollar is going. Wolf is laying over here bathing in the sun. Strong wind thinks it's her time to pick on him. She has her tail up and the only thing that's separating him is the fence. Sometimes they don't like each other, but they're not always dire enemies. The world of agriculture is definitely a different way of life. You really have to be prepared for those down years that you sold your calves or sold your grain and you didn't get very much for it. It makes you really grateful for the people that do it and it makes you wanna thank your local farmer.